Hey everyone, my name is Kirby. Welcome back to episode six of our Very Berry Legacy series. We are sort of finishing up Gen 1, which was purple or grape, and rolling into Gen 2, which is going to be green. Um, it says green apple, but I think we're going for maybe like a green olive type vibe. So a uh, way for me to uh, throw, throw everything off track, you know, not stick to the plan. So we're just going to go over Gen 2 real quick because we might move into things a little bit, a little bit speedily sometimes in some of my Let's Plays or my challenges. I don't like to play everything out in slow-mo. I like to kind of speed through it and make it more of a grind, more of a hustle, you know? Just live in that hustle. So Gen 2 says, you've always dreamed of starting a family and settling down in the suburbs. You forced yourself to stay in the first relationship you've ever had. That's the one. I'm staying with them forever. But once you were at the wedding, you imagined being with them for the rest of your life. Just them. No one else. You run away. None of your friends even tried to help you. You never had real friends. So we have to complete all of our jobs to level five and then quit. So it doesn't really matter how many we have. We just never get past level five. Get four skills to level six, two skills to level eight. Um, we also have to leave somebody at the altar, which will be easy peasy uh, lemon squeegee. Have four serious relationships and then break up with them. We also have to barely know our own children and leave our kids with a family member. We only ever have two accidental kids and never get married. Our traits need to be hate children and non-committal. Oh, brutal. And we also have to be in the business career, any business career, as long as we hate it. And our aspiration is a serial romantic. So as we are finishing up Gen 1, sliding into Gen 2, we want to kind of keep those things in mind. So without further ado, let's do the do. Do? <clears throat> Okay, so I think it was in the last episode that we moved to Evergreen Harbor and into this residence here. But I did go in and make a few adjustments, fix things up, kind of finished it off, um, made it significantly better. And we also have a puppo because we haven't had a dog in this series. I know we're still on Gen 1, but I thought it would be nice to introduce a dog just, just for funsies, you know? Why not? They moved to sort of a city like outside of the city limits and uh, just just decided to live that 2.5 kids atomic family lifestyle, you know? All right, so welcome to the neighborhood. I think it's fabulous, honestly. I think it's quite lovely. It's a great place. I think their house fits in well, stands out a little bit, you know, a little unique. They've got a nice sort of fenced in yard here. We've got Jesse on the doorstep with, oh, I thought he had a string attached to him. Um, I did get, and I've never had one before. I think it's called a servo, um, but that's that's him. Stunning. So we got a servo. We have um, this lovely sort of garden shed in the back here that we keep the sleeping pot in. Oh, that apparently someone's using at the moment. Whoops. Uh, just in case, just in case we need a little refresher. You know, we are alien after all. And we have a little doggo. Oh, so cute. For the grape gin, I thought it would be just... A nice little something something you know a little something special all right so let's go ahead push play on this bad boy and see how everyone is doing if i can get my camera out uh, under control all right we have got jesse here working away uh and by working i mean playing video games so winning winning all around he's actually in fine shape but i am gonna get him to fill the bowl i think oh, that would be good our wee babe is up here we did some we did some changes to the house too so if things look a little bit different uh that's probably why we've got this nice green room for the green gen i thought that would be kind of great way to do it the rest of the house still has the very, very, very purple vibes. Speaking of very, very, where's Miss Vino? Vino apparently was the one sleeping in the pod, um, and she also bonked the mic there. She also um, has aged up a little bit, so we gave her a bit of a makeover. I thought that would be suiting. She's in great shape, actually. She's doing just perfectly perfect and swell and fine and dandy. So why don't we come over here and I think it would be a good time. I never do birthday parties for my sins. I never do it. I never do it. I'm going to have her come over and age up the baby because babies, they're no fun and we don't have to up a parenting scale or anything like that for the purple gen. So we might as well just, um, might as well really just sort of age them up. Like 
if there's a generation that needs to have parenting, then we won't age them out early. It just won't be necessary. But I think I think for this, this series, we're going to be okay. We're going to be okay to do it. Okay, Olive. I feel like Olive is going to be wild and also a charmer because they do need to be a serial, serial romantic but hate children. So that seems that seems pretty on point. Um, and this means we get to go in and give Olive a little makeover. I love that. But I do think... Okay, he can't sleep in this bed, so let's quickly... Oh my god, they're so sweet. She's so happy. It sucks that he's going to end up being a jerk. I kind of I kind of feel bad about it. Let's delete the bassinet. We no longer need it. And find us a toddler bed. Preferably something in green. Okay, we have got a green bed for the toddler now. And I think they can use the bed. They just won't be able to use the up part of this anymore because the um, bunk beds just don't, don't work. We should probably also get him a potty. That would be pretty useful. I don't know how long we're going to keep him as a toddler either. Again, it's not, there's no purpose in it. It's just kind of taking away from what we're doing, which is just kind of having a silly, fun time with the, um, with the challenge, trying not to take it too seriously. Not this one anyway. Some challenges we take seriously and some of them we definitely do not. Um, so it looks like our doggo is sleeping under the table. I think that's great. Super duper for them. You are, are you stinky? No, you're glowing. That's kind of interesting. Okay. They have a glowing sim. And he's feeling hungry. Do we have anything in... Oh, we can yell at our fridge or ask it for a joke. So that's kind of fun. Let's see. Do we have any... We don't have any leftovers. So, oh, it's New Year's Eve. What are our objectives for New Year's Eve? Okay, well, this could be fun. I don't know if we have a decorations box. If we did, I think it would be in the garage. But I am not seeing one anywhere. Maybe I have to buy them. Maybe we have one in our inventory. No, we don't. Okay, so we have the decoration box. Let's put up decorations. Cute! Those look nice. And then, can he make a resolution? Okay, yes, make a resolution. Um, I feel like his resolution would be something, an aspiration milestone? Or a raise up a skill. Okay, he's kind of all about skills, learning, education, bettering himself. And then for Vino, we can make a resolution as well. But I think Vino's would be possibly to have a significant other. I think that she's like, maybe I just want to finalize this this family and make it make it final. Make it, you know, legitimized. Not that a unmarried family is not legitimate. Um, I would know because I lived in one for many years. <laughs> So why don't we go here and we can have him eat this garden salad. Hopefully if he can make it down here. Oh, can he not go down here? I have no idea. Maybe he can't make it downstairs. So pick up the baby, go here and have him eat this. Perfect. Nope, don't, don't put him in the bathroom. Don't put him in the bathroom. Just set him down. Just set him down. What are you gonna do? What are you doing? Okay, you guys are all just chilling in the bathroom. I love that for you. So good. So good. Well, her needs are fully met. She's just chilling. So I'm going to have her come over and do some cooking. Just, I love to have leftovers in the fridge. I think that's that's just a brilliant way for everyone to eat. I'm going to have her make some... Ooh, taco casserole. That sounds like kind of fun and delicious. Fun and delicious. And then Olive. I don't think we're going to let Olive stay this age too long. It's just unnecessary and also three days to age up. So we would have to do two makeovers. I'm tempted to just skip toddlerhood altogether because that's just not, it's not really how, what this is about. There's no point in falling in love with this, with this adorable little toddler. Only for them to become a big, giant, kind of jerk face person that we don't want to know about. But there is one thing that Vino still needs to do before her gen is over. And let us get married. So we're going to, we need to talk to Jesse. We need to chat. He's been doing a pretty good job parenting though for an alien guy, you know? I think so anyway. Okay, so hopefully they can sit together and talk. Oh, is he gonna get up and leave? Please don't get up and leave. Now let's ask him about his day. Oh, his arm's being weird, but that's fine. Just real quick, how is the baby? Angry? Baby is angry. Okay, I'm gonna have them put themselves to bed, please. I highly appreciate. Highly appreciate. No, why don't you go to bed? Go to sleep, please. Okay, perfect. Perfect, perfect. And now let's have them talk. She 
needs to be the one doing the romantic actions or else she gets upset about it, I think, unless her traits may have changed since becoming a mother. Let's check. Good, cheerful, unflirty. Okay, a giver. Indifferent to being romantically exclusive. Okay, that's fine. I really wish she would stay here, though. She keeps running away. No, no, no. You, you stay here, too. You go here. Go here. Maybe I'll have to put them in a group because they're just... They keep running away from each other. Now we're in a group. Let's sit together here. That would be great. Okay, now we can talk. So let's talk about... Hold on. Please don't leave. Stop leaving. Stop leaving. Oh my god, you guys are bothering me. This is awful. Awful. My sims aren't listening today. Okay, we're gonna ask him to be our boyfriend and see see how that goes. That's a start, anyway. Okay. Okay. It looks like he said yes. I think then she would be like, okay, well, like, what else? Like, how much else do you want to commit? To this relationship like would you want to illegally marry he is an illegal alien after all get it an illegal alien but an alien it's funny i could be wrong i'm sorry if it is not funny i don't know what's oh she kissed his shoulder how romantic okay so they are engaged the question is would they have a wedding or would they just do a quick scientifically accurate and and quickly done they're not flirty they're not romantically interested they just are doing this for legal reasons paperwork reasons so i think that they would just kind of do it all in one go which you guys might hate and i'm sorry if you do it but that's just kind of, that's kind of the way that I think we're going to play it. That's the way we're going to deal with cards. Oh, Thumple, that's so nice. Okay, it looks like we may need like a wedding arch or something, and that makes sense. So we could purchase one of those. Um, but in the meantime, let's do that once they're all well-rested, because right now they're not so much on the well-rested size. I hate napping like so much. I'm going to have him sleep there. My sims nap and it's such a waste of time like she's napping right now but it's just it's so wasteful i'm gonna have her sleep all of is still sleeping which is good and king is just you know doing king stuff just doing king stuff being a dog sleeping over here sleeping over there not really sure where to sleep <laughs> can't find the most comfortable spot oh servobot that's so sweet of you our servobot congratulated us on um getting married Apparently it's not our servo bot, it's just a servo bot. I don't know, it's just around doing things, you know? Chillin' like a villain. Okay, so Jesse is awake. I'm gonna have him put that away, clean up a bit, and then probably, honestly, I'm not entirely sure what I'm gonna get him to do. I wonder if he's any good at upgrading. Okay, it looks like we don't have any parts to upgrade, and that would make sense. We would have to do some recycling. He does want to raise a skill though, so that is something that he could work on. I know he's been playing video games. Maybe he can work on his video game skills. It's not a bad idea. It's not the worst idea I've ever had. I am going to look for a wedding arch. Just something sweet and simple that we can throw up in the backyard. Pretty cute actually. Let's see. Oh, I wonder if there's anything that comes in purple though. That would be... That would be perfect. Okay, it doesn't look like there's a purple one. Oh, but this one is blue and it could work it could work oh this one is purple okay so um, so we're gonna put that there and let's take this and set it over here for safety um i think it's a firework it's supposed to be a firework I thought be fun. that would be a fun way to have a small celebration so why don't we have him go here we're gonna have her go here and then when they get here, we can change outfits. Okay, I have this outfit for her, which I think is kind of cute. It doesn't have shoes though. So maybe I will find one that has shoes. That would work. Maybe something a little bit more fall-like, but she does have to use the bathroom and he's on the computer. So we'll have her come in here and use this um, uh, pretty quickly while he's doing his thing. We don't have to put him in another outfit, it just, this is the outfit he wears so that he doesn't die. So, there you go. Okay, he's done too. So, go here. You go here. They can also dance and play music. Okay. 
sing, dance, and play music. Maybe we should grab a music player for outside. Okay, we can get this little Bluetooth speaker to go here. That could be fun. And then we could get married and listen to classical music. Oh my God. It's all happening so fast. Okay, adorable. I love it. I love it. I think this is sweet. I love the casualness of this series and this gen especially. Oh, and that was nice. A nice kiss on the top of the head and on the hands. Okay, very, oops, very romantic. Very romantic. I still think it's cute though. They moved to the house. They're both a little bit weird. They're both just, I don't know. I think it's perfect. I really, really do. And then they can even practice singing and um, celebrate. We can celebrate the holiday. Aw, it's so sweet. Okay, I don't know why I can't celebrate the holiday. Maybe because we're getting married. Okay, they're gonna put on some music. Oh, she's cold. She's cold, she's cold, she's cold, but that's fine. Just do a little bit of celebrating and then you can go inside. We would never know if she was freezing to death. We just wouldn't know. Okay, let's get them. Um, can we, let's turn this off, put it in. Oh, she's singing to him. Okay, um, we can go here and sing together uh, Brutish Lang Sne with Vino. There we go. That's great. Can I not, I can't bring this in. I'm just gonna grab it and bring it inside. There, we, we'll keep, we can keep it. We can keep it for fit future, future singing and listening events. Okay, so that's it. That means that Vino has finished all of her okay so singing with the alien voice is kind of like auto tune and i love that for me okay so since this is the day, day of celebrating i feel like we should bring olive here and maybe age him up as well and then just call it an episode get everything done everything done in one go and then and then call it a day how about how about so how about so let's do it okay so let's age him up into a child okay wow this is a interesting interesting looking sim so this is very berry so we are going full full berry the first thing we though need to do is we're gonna make him a social bu butterfly and also we're gonna make him um maybe a little bit smarter i don't know we'll we'll see Wow, he really, he's got a little bit of both of his parents in there, doesn't he? Let's try out a skin tone in green for him because he is, he is olive. Oh, apparently he's like naturally red. That's kind of interesting. Okay, that's green, but that's not a full face green. This also isn't sort of turning me green. Okay, here's the final product for um, olive very berry. This is him in his jimmies. But I think he's pretty cute. Again, this is we're going full, full berry here, guys. This is a this is a silly, fun, very, 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 very legacy. So this is where we're at. He is a perfectionist, self-assured, and hot-headed. Those traits will change when he ages up to be hate children and aspiring to be a serial romantic. So with that said and done, I'm going to leave that there and I will see you again for another episode of The Very Berry Legacy on another day or check out a different series. I've got a few on the go. So um, yeah, it's, it's, it's been a smash. It's been a smashing good time. Okay, bye. Goodbye.